Hello everybody and welcome to NAEW 5 Golden Rings. This will be your host, Danny Jackpot. This is the biggest NAEW show to date. Five big matches, three of them for championships. I have huge announcements make, um, to make as Aussie Andy and Connor James will be the first match of the night. These two men will fight each other inside a steel cage for the second time in their career, this time on NAEW territory. History between these two men. These guys have been feuding in NAEW now the last few weeks as Connor James cost Aussie Andy a match the night for the Maple Leaf Championship that LaMarcus Carter and Al Cabrera will take each other on for later. Cash Corporation, Connor James, LaMarcus Carter going at it separately tonight. They said they got to take care of their own agendas. Connor James and Aussie Andy, this has to end, they said. But will it? Connor James seems to no matter what enjoy Picking, taking, taking dags at Andy, no matter how long it's been, no matter how much time has passed, Connor James has still have that hatred for Andy. Tonight we'll also see Mason Chronic and Joe Omega finally score up one-on-one -on -one World Heavyweight Championship on the line. This is the, the main event, the second in command that we never got. Also the debut of Smokey. Tonight, Smokey makes his debut on NAW territory. As you see. Connor James getting ready to come out to the ring. Connor James wearing a Vegeta dedicated attire tonight, and I dig it. That's actually really, really awesome. Connor James. Aussie Andy's looking to get revenge on a man of Connor James. On the man that is known who goes by Connor James. He says that he is Vegeta. Go, that that he is like and that Andy's like his Kakarot his early Goku in the series he must kill him he must destroy him and he picks up more wins over Connor James than he should Connor says and tonight Connor James looks to go what over Connor James wearing that Dragon Ball Z dedicated tire and I must say yes Connor James did I mention Kamoki Andrew Hunter again taking on Chris Snyder and Nate Farron. All Nate Farron, Andrew Hunter, and Smokey. Not, not well, gonna be making big singles debuts. You know it's a tag team match, but making their big impactful debuts. We see Nate Farron and we also seen Chris Snyder and we also seen Andrew Hunter at the, at the Turkey Bowl. As the steel cage now lowered on these two men. Cage match. Connor James, Aussie Andy, five golden rings is underway action wise. Aussie Andy just taking it to Connor James. These two men hate each other. A proper opening contest of five golden rings. Connor James, Aussie Andy. Connor James now has the better of Aussie Andy. Connor James, Lamarcus Porter, Lamarcus Carter, Cash Corporation lost to United in the semifinals of the United States Tag Team Title Tournament. Man, that is a great outfit there by Connor James. Again, calls Aussie Andy his Kakarot. Now, if Aussie Andy would have just came out just like Kakarot Goku, I would have been. A little bit more impressed. <laughs> that would have been done. That would have been something. Oh, and Connor James taking Ossiani down. Connor James immediately calling for the cage door. Was Connor James looking for a quick victory here? And Connor James now knocking him down again, calling for the door. The referee might might. I don't know what happened. The referee might have cost Connor James his match. I feel like anyone have been a little bit on a little bit more of a hurry though. If you heard that cage door open, the instincts of a wrestler. And oh, uh, Connor James now driving Andy into the fence, the fencing of that steel cage. 
Oh my god, the cage being used as a weapon here tonight, and you would have to expect that out of the steel cage match between Ossiani and Connor James. Five golden rings, the second match these two men are going to have with each other. Connor James now trying to get out of the cage. And Ossiani's like, no, buddy, you're coming back in. And Ossiani now brings Connor James back in the cage. Connor James said that cage that might have been used for Mason Chronic and Joe Omega. If Mason Chronic were to win at four score, let's use it. I still want to use it tonight. Steel cage match. Last time these two wrestled each other was in an old classic cage, as requested by these two men. New in AW tonight. I mean, in AEW tonight, using the cage. Both these men also new in AEW superstars, I must say. This is where maybe a lot of it all started. Aussie Andy, DDT, and Connor James down in the mat. Aussie Andy, Connor James. The hatred between these two, I have mentioned times now of Connor James going to Australia and, and attacking Andy. We have the pub club showing up on new AW one time to they get some revenge on Connor James. We've seen both these men on each other's territory. They both these men would, no matter what I would say Aussie Andy calls GWA his home territory, but both these men call NAW their home now. Also. And looks like Connor James has been busted open in the hands of Ossie Andy, and yes, he has. The Crimson Mask is probably going to be devastating by the time this match is over. Connor James, he's got to hopefully maybe get out of this match now quickly with that cut going. Connor James with a big knee to Ossie Andy. And taken. Just his shots now at Ossiani. These two are just fighting each other in this cage. The Animal Kingdom cage match, as what Ossiani calls this, calls this. The Animal Kingdom cage match. On Connor James again, just driving. Oh my god, just driving Ossiani into that cage. I'm just, I can't believe the, the, the devastating, the, the effects of this cage on Ossiani and Ossiani and Connor James just keeps tossing him like a long dart into that cage. Connor James now, what is he trying to, he trying to do? Is he going to try to climb out of this cage? Not using the cage door this time is Connor James. Well, he hasn't had no success trying to use it yet. Oh my god, and Ossiani is able to catch. Connor James and just bringing his knee to the mat. Connor James sitting on that ring apron. We able to reverse whatever Ossiani had planned there. But no, Ossiani now striking Connor James. Don't forget, Connor James' knee was just thrown into that, into that thing. And surprised his knee hasn't buckled on yet. Ossiani taking it to Connor James. And oh, driving his head now. Forget your knee when it's your head, right? Because Ossiani has got his head driven into the cage twice, three times now. Oh my god, Connor James. Connor James delivering a big ape elbow. As I see Connor James having to get a, a slower time getting up. Like I said, his knee was driven into that cage. Connor James, big elbow strike to Ossiani. Getting out of the back. It's attacking Ossiani's back. Ossiani was going was go a little back, to the, back into the left right there. Back and to the left. Back and to the left. Oh my god. Long darting again, Ossie Andy. Into the cage. Then Andy is bleeding. The Andy is bleeding. Both these men are bleeding in this match. Oh my god. And Connor James. Momentum off the ropes and just punching Ossie Andy down. These clubbing like strikes. Ossie Andy and Connor James find each other in this cage. The Animal Kingdom cage match. Connor James striking down Ossiani. Don't forget everybody tonight. We have 
Not only that, but we're going to crown our first United States Tag Team Champions ever when, when Lester Barkley and Extreme Tony take on TJ Nicholson and Norm Daly of the Crusade. Tag Team Tiles, final 16 teams concluding into that match. Alka Bergen defending his United States Championship title against Marcus Carter tonight, or at least attempt to. Also tonight, again the debut of Call Legend Smokey. Pinfall and submissions are legal in this match, in this Animal Kingdom cage match. Connor James now driving Andy again into the cage. Connor James has been able to just take it to Andy in this match. Aussie Andy being robbed by Cash Corporation of a Maple Leaf Championship shot. Being robbed of Carter of a World Heavyweight Championship shot. Connor James was the one who, what, incorporated those attacks though? But Marcus Carter, Connor James has been working together now for a while, I guess I've been told. Connor James, they, 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 they had thrown out Bloodline in that six man, battle, six man battle royal at Steven Raiden at second in command and they had agreed that they're going to toss out Andy last since they worked him over and Andy was able to prevent that tonight Andy getting the punishment by Connor James and Connor James believes that Andy so rightfully deserves Andy trying to get his revenge trying to get into it was able to bust Connor open earlier but this match now has all Connor James Connor James now just ripping at Aussie Andy's face. Do you guys, do, do, this is a wrestling match, Connor James. Come on. Don't care if it's a cage match. Oh, well, there are. Connor James must have been able to hear me. My commentating voice must have got to him there. And that's all the And what? Connor James getting a two. Don't know if Andy would have kicked out of that, but. But Connor James lets up on it. Oh my God, devastating move. Delivering a knee to the back of Aussie Andy's neck. And Andy kicked out. Andy kicked out. Maybe that answers your question, Connor James. If Andy would have kicked out of that last one, you think the, do, you, do you think you got control of this match? No, maybe you do. But Andy gets nailed with a knee to the face. Aussie Andy cannot pick up any momentum against Connor James tonight. Connor James now climbing that cage. Rossi Andy is down. Is this the end of the match? And Connor James now. I think he has this match one. Connor James. What? Connor James wearing that saying like a tire. Cannot find his placing in that. What? Is it Connor James a tire? To Connor James a tire? What? In that sand like boot, he couldn't find. He couldn't find a spot to, go to climb back down. Was able to use his cage. I don't know if Connor James is going to be able to escape out of this match. He can't find funny placement to climb out. Aussie Andy now. It's a really huge job with Connor James. Aussie Andy getting his first bit of momentum starting in this match again. Both these men a bloody mess. Aussie Andy taking it to Connor James. Oh my God, Connor James. This reverse package pile driver almost. With a roll up on it. Well, that was an interesting move by Connor James, I must say. Connor James now, once again, has the control of Andy. Good look at looks here again. Like I said, Connor James having problem with that Saiyan boot that placement of his foot. I don't know what happened there. But wait a second, Andy now trying to climb out of the cage. And now, again, Connor James is trying to find his foot, his placing in this match. 
What's Andy gonna do here? Andy, I think, I think Andy's gonna win this match. Wait a second. What's Andy got planned? Andy's not looking to win this match. Andy's got more control of this than Connor James does. Connor James right now is actually, I think Connor James is slipping. And what I see Andy, looking at, look at Connor James slipping. Decides to go back after Connor James, Aussie Andy. Aussie Andy should have won this match when he had the chance, though, I think. Connor James could have won in this match when he's had the chance. These two men letting this rivalry between them get, become further than a win or a loss here. These two men now are brawling on top of the cage. Oh my god, Aussie Andy. And he throws Connor James off the cage. Oh my god. Aussie Andy's gonna win this match. Wait, Aussie Andy climbs to the wrong side of the cage, I believe. Aussie Andy had a chance to win. Aussie Andy could have climbed out. He's gonna give it to Connor like Connor just gave it to him. Aussie bomb by Aussie Andy. One, two, three. No, Connor James kicks out somehow. The Aussie bomb. Both these men getting close calls on each other. The blood becoming way too much almost for me to handle in this match. Connor James, and he's telling Aussie Andy, bring it, bitch. Connor James, don't know what he had planned there, but missing the strike. Aussie Andy now driving Connor James down to the mat. That reverse DDT, Aussie Andy off the top rope, driving him down with a big splash, body splash by Aussie Andy. Aussie Andy again, driving the elbow down now of Connor James. One, two, Connor kicks out at two somehow. I think Aussie Andy is dedicated to beating Connor one, two, three in this ring. Oh, but Connor James now nailing a low blow on Andy who was standing over Connor. Connor James, Aussie Andy, Steel Cage, five golden rings. We have a hell of a show still for you after this. So don't go anywhere. <coughs> Connor James now. Like I said, this blood getting a little too much for me here. Getting a little sick here at ringside. Connor James. Funny thing is, I think all Connor James now wants to do is possibly escape Andy, and he can't. I think that's hilarious. I think Connor James is trying to escape Aussie Andy. Aussie Andy now bringing it to Con no, Connor James driving Aussie Andy down to the cage and once again balling. Opposite side of the cage, but still on top of the cage. Once again, these two men hate each other. Oh my God! If one of these two guys fall on the out to the outside, we're gonna have a, a winner. We're gonna have maybe a, a, a serious injury. And these two just brawling. Aussie Andy. Oh my God! Delivering it to Connor James again. Connor James has now crashed twice down the top of the cage, 15 feet in the air. Aussie Andy now trying to choke the life out of Connor James with the Dragon Sleeper. And Connor James with an interesting roll up with a ball, like a crab roll up, and no, only in a two on that cradle. Connor James trying to sneak a victory out of Aussie Andy. I don't think he wants to be in the cage with Aussie Andy anymore. Aussie Andy, tilt the world. You're a Nagi. By Aussie Andy. And Aussie Andy, Connor James kicks out. I don't know if Connor James kicks out or he's just trying to fight Aussie Andy off him. Aussie Andy's moment and momentum's behind Aussie Andy no matter what now. Aussie Andy tossing Connor James out the cage twice. 
Off to Andy. Powerbomb position on powerbombing Connor James on the cage. And then picking Connor James up by the by that Saiyan suit just a little bit more, got a little bit more impact. Down to the mat. Connor James with the Aussie lock. With the with the with the Aussie with the Aussie lock. Connor James though does not tap. Connor James, Luthez Press, the legend Luthez. Mason Chronic, Joe Omega, main event tonight for the world championship. Let's not forget. As these two men fight in a cage, it could have easily been these two men having this kind of match. These two men, I see why Connor wanted this. I see why Andy accepted. They wanted to put a legal beating on each other. You gotta think though, somewhere inside. Connor James, like I said, one, two. Jandy kicks out at two. Connor James a prize. Like I said, Andy's gonna wanna have a three count though. Why I think that, or why I think Connor wants to get a three count on Andy and win this match, is because Andy, he, he thinks that he's his Kakarot. He's had chances to win this match. Like maybe Vegeta though, and Dragon Ball Z, get him a little cocky. Aussie Andy. Big Aussie plex, German suplex, Australian style. Aussie style, he says. Neck breaker. Aussie Andy now dragging Connor James. Connor James, though, able to kick Andy in the face. Oh, and the knee and Andy in the face. Connor James with some great jitsu right there. Judo the jitsu. And then going straight back to just brawling with Aussie Andy. Like I said, we still got the United States Tag Team Title Tournament to crown the finals tonight. Connor James trying to climb out of this cage again. Aussie Andy getting up. Connor James now staring at Aussie Andy getting up. Connor James, what has he got planned here? He didn't like seeing Andy get up. Crossbody off the top, and Connor James crashes down to the mat. Oh my God! And wait a second, Lamarcus Carter is Andy's trying to tap out Connor James. Lamarcus Carter, that's what the cameras are trying to pick up. Lamarcus Carter quickly climbs to the top after after Connor James is crashed down the mat. Lamarcus Carter is in the ring with Andy now. Lamarcus Carter, this is all legal, I guess. There's no disqualifications in the cage. Carter stretching out Andy. Lamarcus Carter, Cash Corporation, like I said. Lamarcus Carter's gonna match with Al Cabrera later on tonight. What? What? Aussie Andy now bringing uh, Lamarcus Carter and, and Lamarcus Carter bringing Aussie Andy down. Connor James gets up, staring at Lamarcus Carter, just destroying a man who just went 20 minutes in a cage. 20 plus minutes in a cage. He has bled for the last 10. Lamarcus Carter is fresh as a as fresh as a daisy here in this match. Connor James still. Big shock that look like Connor James now. I, I, Andy, Andy's trying to fight off Cash Corporation. Andy, there he is. Andy, Andy's in this cage with Cash Corp. Trying to roll up Connor James. Referee rolls it one, two, three. No, Connor James kicks out. Andy almost defeats Lamarcus. Oh my, almost defeats Connor James with Lamarcus Carter in the cage. Again, going for a roll up. One. Two and no, Carter breaks it up. Carter breaks up the count. Trying to shock Connor James again. Chop blocking Aussie Andy from behind. Cash Corporation now working as a team on Aussie Andy. This is all legal in this cage match. This is all legal in this cage match. Manhattan drop. T-bone suplex combination by by the tag team of Cash Corporation. 
Connor James, Lamarcus Carter. Connor James now getting fired up here. Just oh my God, Don with all this momentum just taking now Alcian. He needed the face. We've seen so much judo and st and knee strikes by Connor James in this match. Cash Corporation now a legal beatdown of Ossiani in this match. Ossiani, there is no Tasmanian Tiger Mask. There is no pub glove here. And, and in AEW, oh my God, Spine Buster and Connor James just taunting the fans. The money maker by Marcus Carter. Oh my God, nailing it on Ossiani, money maker. Connor James, what's he got going on here? Oh my God, saving grace, a modified saving grace by Connor James on Ossiani, Cash Corporation. Carter telling Connor James that it's over, and he's telling him to call that he's got he's got Andy taken care of. Go win this match, Lamarcus Carter. Was he a fly a fair and four lane lock and he's not gonna get out of that? Connor James slowly the doors open. Connor James takes his sweet time. Connor James wins the cage match. Connor James wins the cage match. Connor James has won this cage match. Connor James, without the help of Lamarcus Carter, picks up a huge victory. Here are five golden rings. He has defeated his rival Andy. He is a bloody mess. So is Andy. Lamarcus Carter, I hope you burn in hell for what you've done in this cage. And we are back with five golden rings. Connor James looked victorious in the cage matches. We got to move on. The finals, the United States Tag Team Title Tournament. The tournament that we have been doing now for the last few weeks. And it's finally come to cultivation or a conclusion when Lester Barkley and Extreme Tony are going to take on TJ Nicholson and Norm Daly of the Crusade. This is the final match of the United States Tag Team Title Tournament. Lester Barkley, the CXWI World Heavyweight Champion right now, will be defending that championship on NAEW programming. Very next show, 30 minute Iron Man match. We will get into that at the end of the show. Lester Barkley gonna team with Extreme Tony. Was able to knock off the team of Cash Corporation of Lester, Bar Lamarcus Carter and Connor James with the help of Aussie Andy. Aussie Andy getting robbed by those two in that cage match as we just seen. Lester Barkley, Extreme Tony was able to capitalize to those two men though. The favorites to win this tournament, the Crusade, TJ and Norm Daly. Gonna have their hands filled with a guy like Lester Barkley, a man like Extreme Tony. The playmaker, Lester Barkley, a CXWI World Heavyweight Champion. Lester Barkley in the ring right now, waiting his opponent, waiting his partner, Extreme Tony. These two uh, would say you would say had a little disagreement, or Lester Barkley was trying to was was more was more taking the show away from the playmaker, making more plays and trying to make the calls. Lester Barkley, it's a great way to put it right there. Extreme Tony making his way down in the ring. <coughs> <coughs> Former CCL national champion and world champion simultaneously. Also a former new NAW East Coast tag team champion. A former new NAW East Coast champion. He is a former XGWL ultimate champion. Extreme Tony is a legend in this business. Extreme Tony and 
Lester Barkley, the finals of this United States Tag Team Title Tournament. Gonna take on this team that is about to come out. The black and white we become familiar with now in the uh, and here in, in AEW as the Crusade, Norm Daly, TJ Nicholson, Joe Omega, the main event tonight against Mason Chronic for the World Championship. The Crusade says five golden rings is their night. TJ Nicholson on the left, Norm Daly on the right, the Crusade. TJ Nicholson has done a lot in OPW Omega Pro Wrestling. Also a former New AEW West Coast Tag Team Champion with Joe Omega as part of the Crusade. TJ Nicholson, Norm Daly, a former New AEW Triple Crown and Grand Slam winner somewhat would be Norm Daly. Even one contract in the case there. This is our first look at the United States Tag Team titles. Norm Daly, TJ Nicholson, Extreme Tony Lester Barkley. Let's get this match underway. TJ Nicholson, Lester Barkley, the two men that will start off this match. Five golden rings. A big rebranding being brought to NAEW after this show, they said. Possibly the underground after this one. At underground, you'll see Lester Barkley defend that CXWI World Heavyweight Champion. Will he be the NAEW United States Tag Team Champion with Extreme Tony when he gets to that show? As he takes down TJ Nicholson with a DDT. TJ Nicholson able to scoop down Lester Barkley right there. I'm excited, everyone. Five golden rings in AEW. Lester Barkley takes down TJ Nicholson with that belly, this belly, belly to belly, belly suplex. At four score, we actually seen TJ Nicholson pin Lester Barkley in the match in a six-man tag team match, which gave Joe Omega the main event tonight for the World Heavyweight Championship against Mason Chronic. That World Heavyweight title shot that TJ Nicholson was able to win the, the six-man tag with the Crusade. The reason why Lester and Extreme Tony, they are a team. The only match they've actually lost to the team is that match, but they could have been in the main event tonight. Tonight, instead, they're competing for the United States Tag Team title tournament the finals. Maybe, the, maybe that worked out for us as, as, as this match was added as a bonus. The five golden rings at the end of Mall Madness. Once we found out that the four men in this match weren't even scheduled for five golden rings. The United States Tag Team Title Tournament. 16 teams have been in this tournament. Norm Daly, the legal man in this match, by the way. Neckbreaker on Lester Barkley. But 16 teams have competed in this tournament. Down to the final two, five golden rings, the United States Tag Team title, they're going to find a home. If we haven't announced yet, the Fusion Frenzy, the, the Frenzy Fiesta Championship is no more. The NAEW Brutality Championship, which is now held by Monster Messiah, is going to be defended on that underground. Extreme Tony, TJ Nicholson, the two legal men in this match. TJ Nicholson in the wrong corner of Lester Barkley at Extreme Tony. I'm excited which one of these two teams could possibly walk away with the United States Tag Team titles. Both these teams have beat a lot of men here. Lester Barkley able to deliver a huge DDT to Extreme Tony right there. Tags in Extreme Tony. Lester Barkley, what? He just DDT Tony. He just DDT Tony. TJ Nicholson jacks TJ on the pin. What does TJ not even realize what happened? That neckbreaker. Lester driving him down. Three count. What? This is this is not what I expected. The Crusade are the are the champions now. What? The Crusade has just defeated Extreme Tony and Lester Barkley to win the United States Tag Team Title tour Tournament. And to the champions, but, but Lester Barkley's back in the ring. What's he doing? 
He's going after Extreme Tony still. The Crusade has booked it out of here with the championship. They celebrated and got out. Lester Barkley taking it to his own tag team partner. Extreme Tony. What? Lester Barkley barely even waited. What? And... And AW five golden rings, everybody. I can't believe what I just seen. As we also just seen an Isaiah Ice Package, Al Cabrera, getting ready to defend that Maple Leaf Championship against Lamarcus Carter, a man who we seen earlier cost Aussie Andy that steel cage match with Connor Jane. What? Aussie Andy, he's standing still, getting revenge on Lamarcus Carter, attacking him. This is the Maple Leaf Championship match time, though. The time is left for the Maple Leaf Championship. Al Capra's coming out to the ring. What? Aussie Andy, from what I'm being told, is still beating Lamarcus Carter is in the back. What? Is, what? Is, what an interesting few minutes has, has just. What has just happened? I am shocked. Lamarcus Carter, and they just got Aussie Andy off him. I've heard. Lamarcus Carter assaulted in the back. Al Cabrera making his way down the ring. The Maple Leaf champion at four score defeated Connor James in a Johnny Dean a triple threat match to retain his championship. At three is not enough. Was able to defeat Johnny D in a, tw in a 20 minute Iron Man match to win the championship. Al Cabrera. I don't know if we have. I don't know if Marcus Carter's going to be out here. Let's talk about Lester Barkley. He, he just costed him and TJ, or he just costed him and Tony a match for the tag titles. Norm Daly and TJ Nicholson of the United States Tag Team Title Champions. The United States Tag Team Champions, sorry. They won the, the, the Crusade has won their first goal tonight. As, what is, as you see Justin Roberts telling the fans that LaMarcus Carter has been replaced. Biff Andreas is making his way out to the ring though. Biff Andreas is here. Biff Andreas, is he going to take Lamarcus Carter's spot in this Maple Leaf Championship match? They said he's been replaced. I think it's Biff Andreas, everybody. Biff capitalizing on a huge opportunity of Lamarcus Carter being attacked by Aussie Andy in the back. Would that mean, look at Biff Andreas. He, he's, a, is, is he gonna compete in this match? I believe so. Al Cabrera versus Biff Andreas, I being confirmed, is gonna happen for the Maple Leaf Championship right now. Biff getting a huge opportunity out of nowhere. Don't forget the debuts of, as the ring announcer announces Biff Andreas. Let me tell you some stats about Biff real quickly. Al Cabrera being announced by the ring announcer, the Maple Leaf champion, Biff, a three-time new NAW world heavyweight champion. He has also won the NAW Intercontinental Championship, the new WWE Intercontinental Championship, the new WWE Universal Championship, the new WWE Unified Tag Team Championship. New Biff Andreas has won the new WWE Intercontinental Champion. He has done a lot. Al Cabrera, the Maple Leaf Champion, a former Mountain Range Champion in AEW. Al Cabrera, the reigning defending champion, takes it to Biff. These two men, that was this match was not originally scheduled. This match was originally scheduled with Marcus Carter and and, and and Al Cabrera for the Maple Leaf Championship. Aussie Andy able to get some revenge on Lamarcus Carter. Don't forget, Lamarcus Carter screwed Andy out of the out of that match at four score to even be in this match. And Aussie Andy was able now to get Lamarcus Carter's shot robbed from him. Lamarcus Carter, I imagine, would still be owed a championship match down the line. As Biff Andreas, could he possibly win the Maple Leaf Championship from Al Cabrera? B Biff Andreas is gonna is gonna be Al Cabrera's biggest. Biggest challenge to date, I think. Lamarcus Carter would have been Biff, maybe possibly even a little bit bigger. 
Al Cabrera did not prepare for Biff Andreas. I can tell you that. He prepared, prepared for LaMarcus Carter. LaMarcus Carter being attended to in the back, from what I've been told now by medical facility, as Biff Andreas nails a suplex. The debuts of Smokey coming later. The debut of Smokey coming after this match, a tag team match. Andrew Hunter and Smokey versus Nate Farron and Chris Snyder. Chris Snyder we've seen dominate Jason James. At Mall Madness, Biff Andreas, Al Cabrera. Biff Andreas takes it down to Al Cabrera right there. The Maple Leaf Championship. Belly to back suplex that was by Biff. And now Al Cabrera pounding Biff Andreas down on the mat. I can't believe this. Five golden rings. Biff Andreas has a chance to walk out with the Maple Leaf Championship. Al Cabrera looking to defend the belt here. And what I've been told again is that now the Crusade will know who their challengers are for the United States Tag Team titles when those two teams that I mentioned will face each other later after this match. Just being confirmed for the United States Tag Team titles. That match will take place at some point in the future. We'll talk about that when that match when that match happens. Right now, Al Cabrera and Biff Andreas. Al looking for the detonator on Biff. Nails Biff Andreas with the detonator. Maple Leaf Championship is on the line. One, two, three. No! Biff kicks out the detonator. Could this be Biff Andreas' night? to win the Maple Leaf Championship. Al Cabrera trying to make it so it ain't. But Al Cabrera nailing a one count on Biff. Only a one count I should say. Al Cabrera Manhattan drop. Al Cabrera nailing. The pancake, the flapjack on Biff Andreas, everybody. Al Cabrera taking it to Biff. Shocked that he kicked out of that detonator. Biff Andreas called veteran 11 years in CAW. Biff Andreas has experience. Al Cabrera has two. But Al Cabrera, a rising star. Biff Andreas... Getting it taken to drop kick while he was in that trio room. Al Cabrera showing me some impressive moves here. Looking for the Cabrera Boogaloo knee breaker. He I mean, neck breaker. He nails it. That Boogaloo neck breaker that Al does. That Cabrera Boogaloo neck breaker. Three count. Al Cabrera picks up the win. Al Cabrera still the Maple Leaf champion. Impressive match. Biff Andreas. Take a take a chance and an opportunity. It doesn't it doesn't work out for Biff, but Al Cabrera able to defend his championship against Biff Andreas. One heck of a defense. It might not have been Lamarcus Carter, but it was definitely Biff Andreas. And some would say that means a lot more. And I'm one of those people. Lamarcus Carter, who's guaranteed probably to get another shot at that Maple Leaf Championship. I see any might have cost him the match tonight, but Al Cabrera. He has defended his championship tonight. No matter what, Al Cabrera's got to be happy. Al Cabrera still the Maple Leaf champion. Canada's got to be proud of Al Cabrera. And, and Al Cabrera wins the Maple Leaf championship, everybody. It's not just a victory for Canada, but a victory for Canada means the world. As we have to move on now for into this tag team match, four stars, huge rookies, and the giant, giant, giant signings of NAEW in the last week. Nate Farron was actually the first. Nate Farron making his way down to the ring. Nate Farron appeared in the Turkey Bowl Battle Royal. Six foot nine, Nate Farron is. Nate Farron going to team with Chris Snyder in this match. They're going to take on the tag team of Andrew Lee Hunter and Caw veteran and legend, Smokey.
No, I'm gonna name off just some of the call talent, if not all the call talent we have signed since. These four men, the, the original four that signed this week. And we also got the, the dangerous Johnny Hunter coming. The return of Alex Snow, DCWO legend from WBDF, Alex Snow. We also have guys like Nick Gemini, Evan O'Shea, who have signed. Guys like L. Lightning and Isaiah Frost, we have, we have seen packages for. All these men have signed. If not, I, may, I, might be, I might be missing someone, and if I did, I forgot. But you are still just as important to this roster as everybody else. Everyone has, everyone has, anyone is signing with NAEW this week. Call returns, call debuts. Call guys like, like Chris Snyder, man who dominated Jason James at Mall Madness, and mere seconds, a man who was able to take it to the man who just watched win a match, Al Cabrera. Chris Snyder, a man from Alabama. Chris Snyder and team with Nate Farron, the two men are dominating, just just dominating force, almost like the the irresistible force and the movable object on one team. Chris Snyder looking staring down, staring down his tag team partner, wondering if he could trust Nate Farron. Andrew Hunter, a guy who I'm excited about, made his debut in the Turkey Bowl. Making his more serious debut tonight here at Five Golden Rings, Andrew Hunter. I'm excited to have Andrew Hunter here in NAEW. Trust me, he's going to do great things. I see it now. Andrew Hunter at the top of this class of signings. Andrew Hunter and Nate Farron have history with each other in a, a company called Elite Dynasty Federation. Let's not forget. Great opponents tonight as a man who's making his NAEW debut. Smokey's here, y'all. Smokey is here in NAEW. Call legend Smokey. Coming out with style. Coming out the only way Smokey can do. Entertain the fans. Smokey, a call legend. WEDF United States Champion. He won multiple titles there. Multiple titles anywhere he's ever gone. Smokey, a man who I have feuded with in the past, a man that I have lost to in the past, Smokey. I am excited to see Smokey here, him and Andrew Hunter on the same team. Could you imagine if they could take on the Crusade for the United States Tag Team Championship at, at a later date, at a later set point? I can't, I wouldn't even believe that. Andrew Hunter and Smokey, I, 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 seeing, hearing these two teaming together is one thing. Now seeing these two together is gonna be another thing. Nate Farron, Chris Snyder, six foot nine. Nate Farron stands, staring down Smokey while he's having fun. He's debuting in AEW and he's having a good time. Nate Farron. Don't forget, this is Smokey's first ever appearance on a Danny Jackpot production that I have. Fully and, and happily say, Smokey is here in NAEW. Nate Farring taking it to Andrew Hunter, the two legal men in this match. Nate Farring stands at six foot nine. Like I've mentioned before, it just amazes me so much. This tall of a man. And the athlete and the and the technical prowess behind a behind a six foot nine man like Nate Farron, Andrew Hunter. You here winning the Legend Championship in WGE, one of the most prestigious titles in all of call from what I've heard. And Andrew Hunter, has guys got Nate Farron in the right corner to take down a man like six foot nine, chopping him down with the Instagram. Nate Farron taking it to Andrew Hunter. Nate Farron on the wrong side of the ring, but I don't know if there's a wrong side of the ring if you're a man who's like Nate Farron. He starts off this match, which I think is smart. Chris Snyder, a big guy like that, he is still only in his first year or two of call. 
not established like the other three men in this match. These four men, as Andrew Hunter tags in Smokey, as we see Smokey's first move in an AEW ring. Dax Handlin, Nate Barron, and Smokey and Chris Snyder's gonna get a chance to take it to legend like Smokey. And he knocks down Andrew Hunter off Chris Snyder, smartly doing that to Andrew Hunter, trying to get an advantage for his team, but he forgot about the guy in the ring, Smokey. Call legend Smokey, knocking Chris Snyder down with a DDT. After this match, the World Heavyweight Championship will be on the line. Mason Chronic, Joe Omega, the leader of the Crusade. The match that we didn't get to see, the main event that we didn't get to see at, at second in command. We're going to see at five golden rings. It comes full circle, I think, tonight for Mason Chronic and Joe Omega. Smokey whipping Chris Snyder into the turnbuckle, but no. Andrew Hunter smartly grabbing Chris Snyder. The, the tag team with the more experience. Chris Snyder and Andrew Hunter definitely. I mean, Andrew Hunter and Smokey definitely. And Smokey able to avoid the big, slower individual like Chris Snyder, who is strong and fast, but I don't think, I think you were able to telecast that a mile away, kid. Oh, my God. Chris Snyder was trying to, Smokey was able to try to fight some of that off. Wasn't able to let Chris Snyder use full of his strength, but Chris Snyder's definitely got control of this. Able to drive Smokey down right now. A little shocked right now. Smokey being avoided there by Chris Snyder. I think Smokey's being a little caught off guard too by, by Chris Snyder. A guy that big. Don't forget, these guys are veterans. Guys with years experience. Don't think Chris Snyder's that serious. They just look at a big muscular guy they're going to be able to take down somehow. But no. Smokey now. Bitch slapping Chris Snyder in the face. Oh my God! Man, that's the Smokey. Smokey now, not not taking anything away from this call of young talent, but Smokey a lot as I had as as one of the top one of the top faces now, all in AEW I would imagine now that he's here. And I mean face as in you got guys like what? Who's gonna outrank Smokey? You got Matt Icorn on the roster. Smokey's a bigger star than Matt Icorn. Now present day, yes. Nate Farron and Smokey in the ring. Interesting concept. An interesting match with any four of these men in a singles match. Any of the four of these guys taking on who's been in the NAW roster, who's signed the NAW roster in the last week, who we've yet to see wrestle. Guys who are going to be making their debuts in the revamping, the rebranding of NAW. Nate Farron and Smokey, the two legal guys in this match. The winner of this... The winning team in this match are going to take on the Crusade at a later date and point for the United States Tag Team titles. That is confirmed. And Andrew Hunter taking it down to Nate Farron. Like I said, these two men have history with each other in EDF. Nate Farron now, was he got planned? Northern Light Suplex. A bigger man like that doesn't keep a bridge, I would imagine. And booting Andrew Hunter down to the ground. Did Nate Farron right to the face was that boot. Nate Farron taking it to Andrew Hunter. Andrew Hunter on the wrong side of the ring. Andrew Hunter able to tag in Smokey. Call veteran. Call legend. Call icon. Smokey. Smokey with a huge neck breaker taking down Nate Farron the outside of the ring. Now the match, Smokey taking it to Nate Farron who's back in the ring. I was about to say this match is taking the belts be taken back, put, well, be brought back to the ring. You know Nate Farron, a former TNE King of the Ring and World Heavyweight Champion and, no, and total nonstop entertainment. Also a former WTW Intercontinental Champion twice. Smokey now taking it down to, to Chris Snyder. Two. And Smokey though, if it wasn't if it wasn't for that, Chris Snyder would have definitely definitely been pinned by, by Smokey because I, I that was his finishing maneuver. 
Shocked here now. Chris Steiner and Andrew Hunter working great as a tag team, better than I expected. Andrew Hunter taking down Nate Farron. Like I said, those two men had beat with each other and Wait a second, Chris Snyder now going after Smokey. No. These two men, I think they're I think I think Chris Snyder and Smokey are developing a little something in this ring as as these as both teams wanna wanna be looking to do their do their own thing. Smarter roll back in the ring to both guys in that situation. Andrew Hunter taking the Chris Snyder. Andrew Hunter once again trying to tag in Smokey, but no! Chris Snyder using his speed and strength to cut off Andrew Hunter at the tag. Andrew Hunter though able to power up. Andrew Hunter with a spinning leg kick, spinning back kick to Chris Snyder now. Drop kick by Andrew Hunter. Drop kick again by Andrew Hunter. Andrew Hunter, boom, neck breaker on Chris Snyder. Andrew Hunter is no stranger to success himself. Is a former Brawl United States champion. Has won the no I the new Outback Iconic Championship. Was the first champion there. Like I mentioned, was the last ever WGE Superstars champion. Chris Snyder though able to tag in Nate Farron. Smokey in the ring. Back suplex there. Or belly to back suplex. Smokey looking to call for the end on Nate Farron, I believe. Andrew Hunter takes out Chris Snyder. Smokey nails that big, that big move. One, two, three. Chris Snyder not able to break up the pinfall. Smokey, Andrew Hunter have just earned themselves a United States Tag Team title match against the Crusade. Chris Snyder able to nail his finisher on Smokey, but Smokey was able to kick out of a big man's finisher like that. Smokey, again, caught veteran, caught legend. Smokey and Andrew Hunter pick up a huge win as you see Andrew Hunter delivering a devastating slam to Chris Snyder. Nate Farron and Chris Snyder put up, a, put up a heck of a fight against Smokey and Andrew Hunter, but these two men have a United States Tag Team title match against the Crusade at a later gaining point. Smokey wins in his NAAW debut. Andrew Hunter wins in his uh, five golden rings. Andrew Hunter and Smokey have just proved to the world that these two men come together. They could they could win a tag team match, not just not not just against any two guys, the two guys like Nate Farron and Chris Snyder, and they can, and then they can come out dominant. I don't know much. I don't know if they talked any game plan earlier, but Smokey and Andrew Hunter pick up a heck of a win here at Five Golden Rings, and I wonder if these two men are we staring at possibly future tag team champions. We have to move on now. It's the main event. Speaking of the Crusade, again, the leader, the Crusade leader, Joe Omega, going to take on Mason Chronic for the NAW Championship. And Mason Chronic's big first defense of the gold. Mason Chronic, could, could he possibly lose this match to Joe Omega? What, what Joe Omega has been saying all along, Mason Chronic doesn't deserve to be champion. Mason Chronic, NAW champion, also a former Call of Honor world champion there. The current NAW world champion was able to defeat Extreme Tony, Lester Barkley, and TJ Nicholson at three is not enough. He was also able to defeat Aussie Andy that night. But that was after, again, Aussie Andy had gotten assaulted in a six-man ba six battle royal. Mason Chronic. Other than that six-man tag team loss, he is on pinned, on submitted in NAEW. Joe Omega looks to be the first to beat him as the black and white's back again. The black and white of the crusade that we have became so familiar with. Joe Omega, the crusade leader. Always representing the United Kingdom proud is Joe Omega. Joe Omega as won the OPW championship and also um, a crazy amount of championships in OPW. Also, he has won the, N the NAW Intercontinental Champion. He is the current West Coast Champion in New NAW. I mean, a former New NAW Intercontinental Champion also. Won the former, a former New NAW West, 
Western Titan Champion has won the Triple Crown there. New NAW also on this very on this very channel. Joe Omega, uh, Empire Cruiserweight Champion, also in his time. Joe Omega looking to win it all here in AEW. He has not come with the Crusade. Joe Omega looking to do it alone tonight. I've noticed. Joe Omega says no one's gonna take him seriously if if, if the Crusade helps him helps him win this belt tonight. Joe Omega, the challenger. Mason Chronic, the champion. These two have been going at it. Mason Chronic and the Crusade. Joe Omega, since two's not enough, or our second in command. Only our second big show, our fifth show now. These two guys wrestle each other at three's not, not at three's not enough, but at four's at at at, uh, four, at four score. And that six-man tag team match, the world championship on the line now. Five golden rings main event. Mason Chronic takes it to Mason. Joe Omega right at the beginning of this match. Joe Omega, though, fighting back. Joe Omega looking to take a headlock on Mason Chronic, but no back suplex. And spin wheel kick by Joe Omega, taking the big man down. Joe Omega looking, trying to make the night the Crusades night. Win the United States Tag Team title earlier as he delivers a DDT to Mason Chronic's arm. Mason Chronic, the bigger of these two men by far, the stronger, more powerful Mason Chronic, but the but the diabolical, devious, Joe Omega, the Crusade leader. I wonder which one of these superstars is actually going to walk out in AEW champion Mason Chronic, again so dominant. Joe Omega, so technical. Seen Joe Omega win so many matches, so many championships in my time as a commentator, as my time as a wrestler, the time is known Joe Omega. I've seen Mason Chronic just do nothing but dominate though, since I've seen him in my time as a commentator. Since no one Mason Chronic. Mason Chronic being back driven over the top rope now, but Joe Omega was able to, do you know Mason Chronic, hold on, Joe Omega was able to deliver and take him down as we see a neck breaker in the outside of the ring. The main event. I don't think this match will end on a count off, but the referee's count is at two. Mason Chronic now taking it to Joe Omega. These two men have a hatred for each other, you must say. Joe Omega able to reverse whatever Mason Chronic. Big, big move by Mason Chronic. Big strike plan. The referee's at five. Mason Chronic once again able to knock down Joe Omega. The referee's at six. Joe Omega it slides back in the ring, but Mason Chronic was waiting him. Mason Chronic taking a, a slam by Joe Omega like that and then driving his elbow down in the face. I, I, I was going to say, though, a slam like that by Mason Chronic is a little bit a little more impactful like the norm, than a normal guy just slamming you down. Joe Omega brawling with Mason Chronic, though. These two guys have been brawling with each other almost since this match has started, I would say. It's been almost more of a fight than it has been a wrestling match. As soon as I say that, Joe Omega delivers the first big impactful move that, other than that giant slam that Mason Chronic did, his own his first big impactful move, I should say, Joe Omega does, as he once again takes down Mason Chronic at the arm. Now kicking him in the swell of the back. And Joe Omega taking Mason Chronic down with a neck breaker. Mason Chronic, the world champion. Joe Omega, the leader of the crusade. Joe Omega says he plans on going at it alone tonight. Will the crusade hold all the gold after five golden rings? That is the question. Well, not all the gold, but they will be covered in gold and silver and platinum and diamonds. Joe Omega taking down Mason Chronic, the current world heavyweight champion. But Joe Omega, no. Taking him down, looking for a low drop kick. Mason Chronic was able to avoid it. Chopping Mason Chronic at the neck. Knocking Mason Chronic down, may have stunned him. 
Mr. Chronic though fighting back whatever Joe Omega had planned and driving him down to the mat. Big power slam there. Mason Chronic now with a huge spine buster. Mason Chronic dominating Joe Omega a little bit here. Looking for the pin. Mason Joe Omega the only game one. Joe Omega is not an easy man to beat. There's a reason why Joe Omega is in the main event of NAW5. Five golden rings. Mason Chronic driving Joe down to the mat again. Pure power and strength. Sometimes it's Mason Chronic. And how do you deal with a guy like that? Joe Omega deals with it by doing a by doing a belly to back suplex by Mason Chronic on a reversal. Reversing whatever Mason Chronic had planned there. Striking Mason Chronic and then delivering that huge clothesline. Power bomb by Joe Omega. Some power shown by Mason on Mason Chronic there by Joe. And Joe sliding out of the ring. Mason Chronic gets up and follows him. Is Joe Omega tearing down the announce table? What does Joe have planned here? Joe trying. What is he saying? He says it's time. He got my announce table and yelled out it's time. What does he mean it's time? Oh my god, what has he got planned for Mason Chronic? I thought maybe he was yelling his time and the crusade was going to come out. But no. I think he's going to bring some pain to Mason Chronic. Oh my god. Driving his weight, all his weight down to the table. Joe Omega did on Mason Chronic. Oh my god. Mason Chronic has been, oh my god, he gets up. And, and, and I am surprised. What's he got planned for Joe Omega? No. Driving him down to the mat. Joe out of shock. Two. No. Chronic nails his finisher and he doesn't get it. Joe Omega kicks out at two. Mason Chronic. Joe Omega delivers that big backpack. That big backpack stunning him to the table. But driving most of his mat through him not at the same time. And Joe Omega. He can't believe it. Mason Chronic nails his finisher and he can't believe it. Joe, Joe Omega, the, the fans, are, uh, the fans are what? Getting behind the crusade? They're excited for Joe Omega taking down Mason Chronic? What? Joe Omega taking down a top lock at the bigger man. Taking him in the swell of the back again. Joe Omega, I don't know what he had planned there, but Mason Chronic delivers that big back elbow. The power of Mason Chronic. No! Jackknife Joe Omega down to the mat! That has got to be it! The Jackknife power bomb by Mason Chronic. No! And Joe Omega kicks out! Joe Omega wants this championship of the night. I am surprised. Are you kidding me? Joe Omega showing one heck of a fight. This is why Joe Omega is in the main event tonight, guys. Because Joe Omega, you just don't put him down like he is nothing. He has a, he's a man of three or four or five, maybe nine lives like a cat. Mason Chronic, though, showing off some dominating power now. Joe, Mason Chronic, Joe Omega just driven down to the mat. Spine buster again on Joe Omega. Oh, and just driving some, not one, but two. Mason Chronic delivering some just devastating fist drops to, to Joe Omega's face. Joke still able to kick out somehow, though. And, no, this would be Chronic's third finisher of the match. Oh, my God, he nailed his third finishing move of the match. Mason Chronic puts down Joe Omega at five golden rings. And I must say, Joe Omega in defeat looks great. Wow. Joe Omega just, I'm not a fan of the Crusade, but Joe Omega puts on one hell of an effort against Mason Chronic tonight. Mason Chronic, as you see in the replays, driving that fist, the fist down, just beating on, on Joe Omega at that point. Joe Omega still kicks out though. But you see Mason Chronic, this isn't one that wasn't two. That would be his third. Third finishing maneuver of the match. And that finally puts down Joe Omega. Joe Omega puts Mason Chronic through my announce table in front of me. But, but it doesn't matter because Mason Chronic is still an AEW champion. 
The North American Elite Wrestling, everybody is proud to have Mason Chronic as champion. There's a reason why he's world champion, and that is the reason why impressive wins like that over Joe Omega will make this goal, make this league stand out. When we'll make this, wait a second, TJ Nicholson! What? What have the United States Tag Team Champions? TJ Nicholson taking to Joe Omega! The Crusade! The Crusade! What? TJ taking his dead, taking taking down Mason Chronic. I was just about to tell everybody good fight, good night, but no, what? Norm Daly's here with, and he's a steel chairs. Norm Daly, Joe Omega still down. The Crusade, and what? No, 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 Mason Chronic, no! Everyone, good fight, good night. The Crusade lays out. Mason Chronic.